What's up guys, Z Furrows here with more Madden 17 news. Long weekend, but wanted to make sure that you guys saw this. Now guys, this is a Madden 17 additional gameplay improvements with competitive focus. Now Will Sykes, who works at EA in the QA area, same as RG, um, wrote this blog. And I think what you're going to see in this blog that we're about to go over is going to talk about some of the things that people have been asking about that haven't been in the initial gameplay blogs that was more focused on new features, the new running game moves, um, the new defensive line gap play. Everybody wants new things, but they also want to know, well, what did you do for me based from Madden 16 to Madden 17? Madden, fi Madden 15 had uh, halfback counter, strong power. What did you do to fix that? So, the blog here is, Hardcore Madden players have a passion for the game that goes beyond the down and distance. Whether you guys are all-day mud streamers or climbing the leaderboards for the challenge, uh, it's clear that you, know, you guys are super, super hardcore. So this blog is written from a former tournament competitor. Uh, once again, it's Will Sykes, who you can follow on Twitter, at SickNastySykes. But number one thing, and this is obviously bad news for me, is man coverage is at the top of the list for biggest gameplay improvements. Uh, in Madden 16, man press made defensive backs stick to receivers effortlessly and it forced guys to have to use motion routes, um, always kind of having to go back to the same three or four routes, C routes, drags, tight end corners to beat man to man, all the ways that we taught you to beat it for Madden 16. Um, so this year, there'll be an enhanced win-loss system to ensure that any route with a cut has the potential to get open against man coverage. Uh, man press is a two-part battle and it starts with the chuck. So for a slant, you'll have the press and release ratings dictate whether or not the receiver gets off the press. And then the second portion is the cut move. So for a slant, when he actually cuts and gets off the stem, you'll have to see if he gets a separation, which is route running based against man coverage. So. Um, you can either win on the chuck, or you can win on the cut, or you can win on both, or you can win the cup and then lose on the route. And so it's going to be overall a new man coverage system. Um, it's going to make it more balanced and true to the ratings in Madden NFL 17. So you might not be able to get as much value in Ultimate Team, but here you see Brandon Cooks catching a pass. Now, there's also advanced uh, a revamped zone coverage system. So if you want an overview of the new zones, we're going to have another blog coming up from uh, Anthony White, who, does, who does, uh, is a designer. But, you know, we always have the route combos that we teach you guys that are going to teach you how to beat certain coverages. But this year they have the hard flat. And the hard flat's a route that we've been asking for, but we didn't really know that we were asking for it, right? So I think he's referring to the, ta the table route here, which is the little halfback angle route that we utilize a lot on a play like halfback wheel. So the angled out route from the backfield was a common go-to. Read for many players in Madden 16. Um, so for an example, this route, you see it in Z-Spot out of Gunsplit Close. Um, you, you were unable to kind of tell your corner to stay committed to the shallow area. And you know we would tell you to pass commit or uh, shade your coverage underneath and it would work, but it would cause your whole defense to be shaded underneath. Um, so now you have the hard flat and you can actually get them to lock down there. So for example, the flood concept, the combination of the flat, the corner, and the streak has been used to beat zone coverage, but now um, they've improved the curl flat. So if you have a flat underneath, it will make sure that your curl flat defender stays with a corner route and shadows him all the way to the sideline. So um, there'll be defenses like the cover three Mabel that will have this zone scheme built into it. And we used to teach you guys how to make cover three Mabel, but we didn't know exactly that we were teaching you to beat cover through maybe we just said hey if you put a purple with a flat you'll actually play this combo um but now you know to being able to go to that play when you just need it if you're not an expert and not the best at pre-play adjustments it's cool to have these real football coverages in there and we'll help everybody out uh, we've also got deep zone logic to get better and not get pulled down so for example pa wide receiver in some of those deep 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 shot plays that we see break kind of the deep areas of the field um will hopefully not get beat um, there. So players who spend time learning the new zones will be ahead of the curve in Madden 17. All right, so we got some more improvements. That was man coverage and zone coverage. But you now also got quarterback scramble uh, locked down even better. I thought QB spy was locked down pretty good, but um, with the spy crash feature, 
which as you know, if you have a QB spy, you can click the right stick and he'll he'll go after the quarterback at any time. You don't have to be clicked onto him. That's in Madden 16, my bid, my bid for best feature. But now you have uh, the coverage crash, which... So defensive ends who see a quarterback getting outside of the tackles are more adept than ever in Madden 17 to shed the block and chase him down. So that's the first thing. And then you don't have to put contains or a, on a spy on every player because now when you click R3, this is what I'm getting to, when you click R3, you can send your closest defender rushing after the quarterback. So for example, in Madden 16, if you don't have a QB spy and you click the right stick, nothing happens. But it sounds like in Madden 17 that if you click the right stick, at any point, the closest defender to the quarterback will leave his assignment and go. So, sounds like, you know, mobile quarterback's going to take another step back in Madden 17, or at least have more counters to stop him. You still got to set it up, you still got to know to click the button, you still got to, you know, you're going to probably lose some pass rush if you are always containing and stuff, but overall, it's definitely good. Um, so, another thing is... Quarters defense uh, defends the run too well. Uh, the defensive backs would shoot in unrealistically and blow up run plays. Uh, by making them more realistically able to read the run or the pass and improving open field blocking for the O-line, this is the last defense you'll want to be caught in the run against. So now it sounds like quarters defense is not going to be good against the run. Um, this is not the case if your opponent is in a pass-heavy formation when tuning these defenses we made sure it applied to max coverage defenses as well where only one or two defensive linemen would be rushing all of these changes result in stopping the run being more grounded in real life concepts even at the highest levels um it, the goal is to hopefully players are going to have to use more groups on offense every hardcore player can agree the double juke was the most effective move in Madden 16 got to the point where players on defense would anticipate somebody doing it in the open field and they would just have to run and go for the tackle. So it changed kind of the way the open field tackling was because you always knew your opponent was going to double juke. You, you never thought, if I run right at them, they might stiff arm me because no one's ever really going to stiff arm you in Madden 16. But now, you know, with all the new ball carry special move blogs that you can read about right here, it's going to hopefully create more angles that defenders are running at, more successful moves. Um, you have the four types of movies, moves we talked about in our previous video. Um, so pretty good. And then offensively, you have new audibles. So in run formations, um, you actually have, in run heavy sets, two run audibles instead of just one. You always used to only have one run audible, but now you have one that attacks the inside and one that attacks the outside. So you can set up your own three-headed rushing attack, which we've been preaching for years, since Madden 10, Madden 12. So. Um, now you can actually do the three-headed rushing attack, and here you can see inside run, outside run for run-heavy sets. Huge, huge, huge. Um, every year, the pass blocking gets upgraded. This year is no exception. Turbo blitzes, as well as looping blitzes, have been addressed. The line is better at handling the max coverage defense, as we went over earlier. So if you're just rushing one guy, the line's going to be better at handling that. Finally, they made improvements to online play that should result in less lag. These changes include preventing players from attempting to boot opponents out of game sessions and forcing a loss. So... Um, this is, you know, a blog for the real hardcore fans. This isn't for everybody out there, but I think overall, uh, Will Sykes here, who you should definitely give a follow to, at Sick Nasty Sykes, um, did a great job, you know, going over some of the more passionate points that didn't get a ton of love in the first blogs because, the, like I said, the first blogs were more focused and all the first blogs were over here too. Special teams, gameplay improvements, zone defense, defensive gap assignments, ball carrier, all that stuff is new. This is, a lot of this stuff is new, but it's also very honed in on the pain points from Madden 16 and things that they've addressed. So man coverage, zone coverage combos, um, crash, spy crash, quarters defense, some of the blitzes out there. Um, and then the last thing I would say is probably aggressive catch and They've already gone over aggressive catch and what they've done to give users more control, and it's in this blog right here. So this is in a different blog, um, kind of, but it all, to me, factors into the same thing. Uh, the swap mechanic here, the lack of control uh, options that you had in Madden 16 to actually defend the aggressive catch, um, 
you know, aggressive catch to me is I always almost had two defenders in the area, and I stopped it more often than not. But every now and then there'd be one where you wouldn't want to, you just want to go for the ball instead of getting into an aggressive catch. Um, they've now given you three options when the ball's in the air. Play ball, play receiver, or swat. Swatting means you're probably not going to get the pick, but you can use it to at least try and go for the ball and uh, slow things down. So read this swat mechanic blurb. I think it really will help get, realize that you're going to have more control over the multiplayer catch outcomes. Um, you know, we can always debate whether or not we liked aggressive catch, didn't like aggressive catch, if it was a win, a loss, a fail. Um, you know, the, the, what's crazy is the open receiver is still always better, and I still saw the most, the biggest critics of it still won the most games. Um, and if you look at the tournaments and the challenges, like the top names are still there, even though bums are good with aggressive catch, like bums aren't winning these tournaments. So, you know, it'll be always be a debate. In Madden 16, maybe that's what the game will be remembered for, but hopefully it was 17 in the SWAT. And the ability to get the animation that you want and go up uh, will change that. So shout out to uh, Will for the blog. Hopefully this uh, helped you guys ta learn a little bit more about you know, Madden 17, what they're doing from a competitive perspective. If you like this video, you want to see more Madden 17 previews, more Madden 17 breakdowns, give this channel a follow. Let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to the most in Madden 17 from a gameplay perspective. Are you into the moves? you into the zone coverages? Let me know. I'll make sure to comment back. I read them all, guys. And uh, give us the sub on the channel, and we'll be back with more Madden 17 news later. Until next time, guys, Z Farls, signing out.